thing and like seeing these pictures, damn it, I didn't think I was gonna cry in this. Seeing those pictures made me feel powerful and beautiful and like cool. <laughs> Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, delightful, and talented internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Footless Show, where I am still Joe, and I am indeed still missing a foot. I still haven't found it. I've been looking for a while now. What you are about to see and what I'm about to talk about was legitimately one of the most genuinely empowering situations and things I've ever been a part of, and I hate using that word because I feel like it's so overused, but when I saw the results of this, I was like, damn, I feel pretty cool about myself. I feel good in my own skin. I feel powerful. I feel awesome. So anyways, enough of an intro. What I'm gonna share with you guys today is a photo shoot that I was a part of. And no, this was not just any photo shoot. This is some of the coolest photography I have ever seen. Like I look exponentially cooler than I actually am, guys. One of my good friends, Russell, is a mind-blowingly amazing photographer. In fact, he's been on this channel before. Uh, about a year ago, I did a video with him with his light painting stuff. These were some of the results. It was absolutely amazing. But we talked about maybe doing another, some kind of photo shoot after I got my running blade, like more of a fitness style kind of shoot. And I was really interested to give this a shot after another year had passed because I loved how the photos came out before. Like it's been my profile picture forever now. But being totally honest, I think I was a little bit uncomfortable with my newly modified body, just like a little bit still, and I felt like it kind of came through to me looking at those pictures, and I've had another year of being able to adapt and improve and get more comfortable with myself, and so I was really excited to give this another shot. So without further ado, allow me to take you behind the scenes of something that was so cool, and I think you will find it pretty amazing as well. First step, I think, is to change this into this. So I just did my makeup a lot darker than I would normally do it because of the whole you're under lights. Now as as much as I love my lazy sloth t-shirt, I'm thinking maybe I should find something else to wear. I don't know though, I feel like it embodies a lot of who I am and what I stand for. So I just grab a handful of uncooked cookie dough on the way out the door to my fitness photo shoot? You bet I did. Is this maybe why I don't have abs? I couldn't tell ya. I, I, I couldn't, listen, I couldn't tell ya. Baby, are you ready to see your wife turn into a uh, a fitness god? I mean, not that I'm actually turning into a fitness god. I'm, I'm still eating cookie dough and bagels, but <laughs> maybe if the photography's good enough, I'll look like a fitness god. It's all about lighting. It's all about the lighting. Make sure you get my good side. <laughs> Just kidding. They're both my good side. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> so let's head in to the laser studio. This is actually called Eddie Sound. It's a location here in Colorado Springs. They're very cool people, very nice, awesome to work with. But I like calling it the laser studio because that sounds pretty badass. So let's look at how these photos are made and actually look at the photos themselves. <laughs> Like I know what I'm doing. Oh well, yeah. I have no idea. You've got what I'm doing. I love it. That's what we have here, so he's shooting. <laughs> Oh, 
on a side note, some of the lasers that they were using literally burn holes through things, so it was like really important that I stood in one place, that like I didn't move. There was a couple times where like I adjusted how I was standing on my leg and they're like, no, 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 let's, let's, uh, let's move it back because that is gonna burn a hole through your prosthetic socket, which would not be fun for anybody. It's funny, after doing something like this, you gain quite an appreciation for models and what they do because all I kept thinking and saying is like, what do I do with my hands? I feel like Anchorman, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> do I, am I, is this, is this a, is this a look? Am I doing it right? Like it's, like it's hard to like pose yourself and, and come up with different things to do. So thank you everyone on set for your participation and your help in what to do with my body. at the beginning of this video, I don't like throwing around the word empowering because I feel like it's used for just about everything right now. It's like one of those trendy cool words. But to me, seeing how these turned out really did make me feel inspired like by myself, if that makes any sense. And it helped me see myself in a different light. That like, yeah, I'm I'm cool. And how I look, even though it's a little different, is, is pretty cool. And being able to play around with like lights and colors and poses and stuff like that, to exemplify that, to embody that, to bring that out of myself, was amazing, right? Like, it was so cool. A little bit, it changes how I think about myself. I don't spend a whole lot of time sitting in, like, insecurity about how I look. Like, I'm okay, right? Like, I, I know that I look different. I'm embracing that. Okay, cool. Yeah, there are some ups and downs, but, like, every once in a very long time, I am hit by the reality that like my body looks different than most people and some people see that as a very weird thing and sometimes I see that as a very weird thing and like seeing these pictures, damn it, I didn't think I was gonna cry in this. Seeing those pictures made me feel powerful and beautiful and like cool. <laughs> I wish I had a better word than cool. It just like, unlocked a little bit more in my brain, and I'm really so grateful for that. So at the end of all of this, uh, all, all the like cool running blade and athletic stuff, I asked Russell if he would take one more picture, and I, again, Russell, I really appreciate you doing this, that had nothing to do with athletics. Uh, I wanted a picture without my prosthetic leg on, because I don't know, for me, like it's, it's easy to feel like cool and powerful when I have this running blade on that people think is cool, but I also wanted a picture of myself in this environment as I really am, with one leg cut off to show the the less flashy side of things to show that I can I can sit there without a leg looking especially different from other people and that's okay too. Just on a side note, I'm not like sponsored. I don't have to say this, but I want to say it because he's awesome. If you need some really cool shots of yourself, of your cars, of frankly anything in this kind of a style or other styles, please check out his Instagram linked right here. His artistry is amazing and you will not regret it if you go check out his Instagram page. Thank you so much for coming on this laser adventure with me. Um, like I said, this was this was just, it was so fun. It was one of the coolest experiences of 2020 for me. And uh, I appreciate you listening. I really appreciate all my patrons over on Patreon. A huge thank you goes out to each and every one of you so much for being a part of my community there. If you don't know, Patreon is a platform, it's a community where you can financially support the creators who you care about and in return get some cool stuff like cute puppy videos and behind the scenes and early access to announcements and things like seeing all of these photos a week and a half before I even made this video. And to you watching this video, thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything else and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and I really appreciate that. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you and I'm excited to see you in the next video. Bye guys. Her from the sky